So we've just been looking at the book of Ruth and uh, chapter one. And I, before I carry on a little bit with the story of uh, Ruth, uh, her mother-in-law Naomi and her sister Orpha and what happens with them and uh, their ongoing journey from Moab to Israel uh, that leads to so much more. I just want to quickly uh, step back a moment um, Understanding the, the land of Moab, where uh, where Ruth was from, and what's significant about the first chapter of Ruth is it's all about this difficult, bad start. And then uh, one of the other passages that we, we see is a number of passages about Moab in the Bible, which I didn't go into detail about, but I'm just going to uh, have a quick mention of one of them, which is in Genesis 19. And it gives us a picture about uh, why things started from a bad place. And so, Genesis chapter 19, verses 36 to uh, to 38. So, so both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. The older daughter had a son, and she named him Moab. He is the father of the Moabites of today. The younger daughter also had a son, and she named him Ben Ami. He is the father of the Ammonites of today. And so these two nations, um, the Moabites and the Ammonites, um, are also mentioned in Deuteronomy chapter 2. And uh, and they became bitter enemies of Abraham's descendants. Um, and uh, you can see with a start like that, uh, with really out of a place of incest, out of the place of Lot, who's escaped from Sodom and Gomorrah, escaped from um, really a pretty chaotic situation, and uh, really seeking to do the right thing, but uh, had probably been in 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 Sodom for economic reasons, and then of course it all went wrong, and his uh, he just escaped with his daughters, and his his wife sort of turned back and became, you know, and she was destroyed. So you can see this really awful start to the uh, whole foundation of Moab, and um, and it's interesting, isn't it? The, the you see the similarity here. Here you've got Lot um, drawn into a situation for economic reasons, escaping by the skin of his teeth, um, just with his daughters. The wife has died. Then uh, you know all sorts of you know, dysfunction in the family. And, uh, and tragedy uh, as a result of uh, all, all the, the the family dynamics going on, and and so we see sort of this brokenness also in Ruth chapter one, this heartbreaking story of that family, and uh, uh, surely nothing good could come out of that background, out of that uh, out of that mess really, and and yet that's what we're going to see in the story of Ruth, um, what happens next. So I'm going to just finish here and uh, and, uh, in the next video be talking a little bit more about Ruth chapter 1.